Today, I'm just going to call this Today in Stupid because there's really no other way to categorize this. It's really embarrassing as it has been for the last four years. I live in California, and so she was once the AG, the Attorney General of the entire state of California. One would think that she earned these positions through skills, through merit, through actual deserved qualifications, but obviously that's not the case. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Vice President of our United States of America. Oh, it pains me just to say this. Watch this video that I'm about to share with you. And then we're also going to share another video, which is a massive disinformation campaign uh, purported by CNN, Jake Tapper, and A.O. Kami C. Um, I'm going to share with you that, but watch this. This is Kamala Harris, Kamala Damala, the Ugandan giant Harris, actually clapping and encouraging protesters in Puerto Rico who are defaming her and maligning her and then watch as her aide corrects her and then look at the transformation. You want to talk about a day of ludicrous stupidity? It doesn't get worse than this. Watch this. <laughs> So you can see by the, I'm going to play this for you one more time, because you can see by her face, as soon as she realized that she's clapping along to a bunch of protesters saying, you're a, you're a war criminal, warmonger, uh, what you're doing, free Palestine, free Haiti, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, uh, you can tell that her aide, once she, her aide explained what's going on, you could tell by the look on the aide's face. The look on the aide's face is one of, um, you know, you could almost say uh, vitriol and anger, whereas the look on Kamala's face is utter and complete embarrassment and just lunacy and stupidity. But she's such a phony actor that she somehow tries to pull it off with her phony ass smile that she thinks is actually fooling people. Watch this. Watch the face. Watch the face right here. the actor you can see the aide is, is really upset look at the acting oh yeah okay okay i can pull off a fake funny smile right people believe me no they don't she was the former attorney general of california she's the vice president of our united states of america her approval rating is worse than stalin's i wonder why is this just uh, hey i have a question to ask you Nis nation is this just another example of DEI not working at all. It seems like it seems to me if Kami Kamala wasn't a female, wasn't a person of color, I mean she's Indian, she's not even black really. She's got like a quarter, everybody's got a quarter black in them, don't they? Um she's just writing this I'm an African American BS. I'm with you guys. Phony Kamala is with you. It's all BS. She doesn't care about anything. Just like Cash Money Fanny G. Just like Letitia Big Shame James. She don't care about anybody. Do you think that this is another example? I want to pose this question to you. Give me a capital Y or a capital N in the comments. Do you think this is another example of DEI failing? I would love to hear from you. Give me a capital Y for yes if you think it is. Give me a capital. And if it's a no uh, or a yes, I'd love to know why. Give me a little reasoning if you don't mind. If you have time, I would love to hear from you guys. Okay, now I want to show you a massive example, another example of how probably the worst media organization that's ever been constructed, CNN, uh, is again perpetuating going after Trump with the most egregious of lies, Jake Tapper has Kami AOC on his show today to talk about Trump and all the charges. Listen to this and then we'll talk. About what do you say to an independent voter or an average voter who looks at what's going on with Donald Trump? You have his assets might be seized tomorrow. 
You also have the hush money uh, case from uh, the attorney general, uh, I'm sorry, the district attorney, Alvin Bragg of New York. You also have the Georgia case about election interference. You also have uh, the special counsel investigation on election interference. You also have the classified documents case down in Florida. That's five cases. And to a voter, what do you say to a voter who says, well, that doesn't look like he's being treated equally uh, before the law. That looks like somebody that the government is going after. Has there ever been a president, Republican or Democrat, that has been subject to this level of criminal charges, indictments, and investigations? This is not about party. This is not about politics. This is about corruption and criminality. We're talking about an individual who ordered essentially a terrorist attack on the capital of the United States in order to retain power. That ordered a terrorist attack on the Capitol to acquire power. I want you to think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Ordered. Now, I'm one of those uh, people who, you know, again, I love my country. I love my country with every fiber of my being. When I saw that there was, you know, a quote unquote raid on the Capitol, or when I saw that people were trying to interfere with the transfer of power, of course, I was upset and livid too until I wasn't like Tucker. I mean, Tucker said he knew right away something was wrong. I wasn't like that. I was looking at those high quality HD videos of these people storming the Capitol, and, and it made me physically ill because I love my country. I don't want to see what my country has become. Now, having said that, a lot of stuff has come to light, which has made me highly skeptical. And just the fact that mainstream media is essentially not, and they've completely rebuked and uh, uh, just, they've left the tenets of objective journalism. They have completely betrayed what really ethical journalism is all about. And they're no longer... Uh, media reporting objective facts. They're essentially state media reporting skewed, uh, biased, unhinged um, media that supports and propagandizes their cause and whatever they want, and whatever they think is good for our country. There is no more objective mainstream media. I mean, couple that, my skepticism, my incredulity has gone up very, very high. I mean, the needles in the red. I don't believe anything these people say anymore. Um, and now you have AOC saying he ordered, he ordered a terrorist attack. And there are people out there, mostly white liberal women, out there that are actually buying this crap. They're actually, it's so irresponsible of AOC. More importantly, it's more irresponsible of Jake Tapper, who sits there and does nothing. Watch this. That is not about being a Republican. It is not about being a Democrat. It's about being an unethical and individual who is subject and prone to criminality. And unfortunately, um, I, this is the state that we're in. And I actually think that the fact that it's happening in so many places and so many jurisdictions cuts in the face of that. This is not just New York. This is Georgia. This is federal courts as well. It's just so awful. Well, we know what's happening in Georgia. We know that it is perpetuated by a district attorney who is so corrupt and such malfeasance that she can't even tell which way is up or down. Uh, we've been covering Fannie Cash Money G for a long time. We know that Letitia Big Shame James, that whole uh, civil fraud case is a complete sham. It's a complete political witch hunt. She is definitely targeting Trump. We know Judge Gargamel, a.k.a. Ergeron, is completely corrupt. Um, we know that there's all sorts of new facts that came out about the Capitol in the last two or three years that really point to at least some intelligent skepticism or at least some intelligent you know, uh, introspection and it deserves some investigation, deserves some questioning or at least something. Um, and we understand this. Here are some facts. The border is facing a crisis like we've never seen before. Inflation is still insane. People still can't pay for food, can't pay rent, can't pay gas. Gas just rose in my state, California. 
Um, we have squatters. We have illegal aliens coming in, military age men. There's no families. There's no kids. There's no women. There's no people looking for a good life in America. This isn't Ellis Island type immigrants. These are military aged males, 34 to 45, who are pouring into our country by the millions. And the Biden administration is letting them happen. And they're accelerating and radicalizing their pathway to citizenship so that they can vote Democrat. Because we all know nine out of 10 immigrants vote Democrat. I don't even know what that 10th one's doing. That 10th one's probably being fooled or just probably checked the wrong box. It's probably 100%. Um, crime is up. Cities are in ruins. Major cities like New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco is a dystopian nightmare. Chicago murder crime gone up steadfastly. It's gone up. I mean, it's insane how high it's gone up. People don't feel safe anymore. Homelessness is up. Uh, you know, those are some facts. And those, that's just, I'm just touching the surface there. And yet, what do they want to focus on? Well, we want to give more money to Ukraine. We want to funnel more money overseas. We want to pay for foreign proxy wars. We don't want to take care of our own. We've got homeless veterans who don't have anything. We want to give illegal aliens credit cards with $10,000 on them. We want to give them food, shelter, board, lodging, the whole nine yards. And what are we doing with our own who are actually working hard, contributing, paying uh, middle-class, blue-collar American citizens. We're completely neglecting them. That's what you're doing, AOC. That's what you're doing, Kami Kamala. That's what Joe Tombstone Biden is doing. And the fact that you're going after... And this, this is just helping Trump, by the way. It's not helping you guys. It's helping Trump. The more you go after this guy, his approval goes up. Because people are finally waking up, especially... Independence and disillusioned Democrats are finally waking up. They're sick and tired of it. We're sick and tired of you. Your idiocy, your lunacy is in technicolor. We can all see it. You can't use the whole don't believe your eyes, believe me routine. It doesn't work anymore. You can't use the race card anymore. You can't use DEI woke mind virus infection. It doesn't work. You can't use that anymore. You can't use uh, anything that you used to use in the past that maybe fooled a few of the major important... Look, I, I want to believe that the election was legitimate. I want to believe that 81 million people voted for Tombstone Biden, as hard as that is to swallow. I want to believe that things were done legitimately. But then uh, when I dig deeper and I do qualitative and quantitative research and I actually look at the facts and I actually experience them personally, when I went to bed on November of 2020, Trump was ahead in four of the biggest swing states, Georgia, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, South Carolina. I woke up and they announced Biden was president. That's never happened in my life. Has that ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments. And then all you have all these issues coming up with ballots not being counted, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You've got the actual counting centers boarding up their windows so nobody can see anything. I've never experienced that before in my country. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear what you guys think, uh, Nez Nation, in the comments. Do you think that AOC is right? Do you think she's wrong? Do you think Jake Tapper owes a responsibility to ethical journalism to say something to stop her? and say he didn't order a terrorist attack. He never said that. All of the videos, all the footage shows that he wanted a peaceful protest. He even said, you need to respect the law. And that is not a crime. That's not a terrorist order. It's completely a dereliction of the facts. It's a betrayal of the truth, of objectivism. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I try really, really hard to respond to all the comments. It's almost impossible. Obviously, members and super chats and super stickers get first priority. Consider becoming a member. It only costs you a cup of coffee to support the truth. We've got eight months to the election. You know, I'm never going to stop. I'm going to keep cooking. So consider becoming a member. You get priority. You get badges next to your name, priority shout outs, priority responses, comments, exclusive content. You also get priority in our live streams too. So consider becoming a member. It costs you a cup of coffee to support us every month and everything goes back into the channel. If you made it this far, make sure you become a Nez Nation Insider. It's absolutely free. Our Nez Nation Insider is our free email newsletter so you never miss out. It's in the pinned comment. It's also in the show notes and the description. We have a podcast. We're on Facebook. We're on Rumble. Professor Nez all over. Go check it out. Nez Nation Live. 
Become an insider. That way you never miss out. You never miss out on anything new, updates, breaking news, videos, live streams, the whole nine yards, everything that mainstream media won't tell you. I'm going to share with you. So make sure you uh, become a Nez Nation insider. Check out these videos right here. They are absolutely awesome. I just published these. Subscribe and follow down there. As always, Nez Nation, God bless you. God bless your families. And God bless America. I'll see you soon.